Well, welcome to our new San Mateo office for Snowflake, the data cloud company. We've taken the opportunity over the last 12 months to make some significant improvements to the space, both here, but also to our other offices globally, to really support safely returning to the office for our employees. When do you think people will be in here, coming in, signing in? So we don't have a specific date by which we're planning to reopen the office just yet. When we do go into the green tier, we will take at least 60 days to continually monitor the situation and use that as a kind of a starting point for thinking about when we will return to the office. The entire lobby has been completely renovated. So it's really a much more spacious environment. You'll see that there's not a lot of furniture in here. So it really promotes social distancing and hopefully it gives our customers a sense of safety. And this is our company mascot, the polar bear. And it's got a mask on as well. Right. <laughs> we were very much focused on creating a much more flexible environment so that we could adapt it over time. As employees return, we'll get a lot of insight into how people want to work. This is uh, an example of a flexible collaboration space. By sliding the uh, dividers across here, they have acoustical properties, so they create a little bit of a sound barrier between what's going on inside there and folks walking past. As a result of the pandemic and our subsequent planning, the table itself grew wider. So the large TV and, and the high quality camera and the high quality acoustics within the room are all around ensuring that we have a you know, highly collaborative space, whether it be fully in person or kind of a hybrid in person. So this is the little return to office package that we'll be giving to each of our employees their first day they uh, return to office. We have a snowflake mask, hand sanitizer, a whiteboard wipe and pen. And the idea behind these is that we will no longer have whiteboard wipes and pens in each of our conference rooms. The expectation is individuals will, will have their own dedicated unit, so you're no longer sharing them. So each morning you'll come in, retrieve your personal effects from the locker, place them on the desk, and at the end of each day, remove them. One of the, the great things about that is it really uh, enables us to have a much more um, robust sanitization program. You don't want everybody arriving here at 12.15 to get lunch. There'll be no self-service at all. It is all served food. So we'll have staff members here who will cook, prepare, and then package the food for you to pick up. How this space is laid out, the furniture that we're using, the adaptability and flexibility of the spaces that we've created, I'm most proud about that. Very few companies today have opened their offices up, especially in, in this, this area. And so we don't have a lot of concrete data to work on. So as people return, technology will enable us to understand how people are going to work in the future, and we can adapt the space accordingly. 